What's up guys, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and today, well, I started my journey to creating Windows drivers and it's a hell of a lot different to how you might expect and if you're going to be getting into this and you want to learn about it, experiment with it, etc, etc, then you need a good place to start. While I might not flesh this out into an entire big series on the whole topic, Today I'll be going through a very simple installation so that you can go ahead and start coding your own Windows drivers. Now, of course, if you were to open up Visual Studio, I'm using Visual Studio 2019, head across to create a new project. If you head under C++ and search for driver at the top, you might not find much, but you'll find driver test for edge, something about Azure, but there's no actual Windows drivers. And if you go ahead and press start, type in Visual, go to Visual Studio Installer, then wait for it to load, find your Visual Studio, modify, individual components, and then you look for driver, you'll notice that there's a very specific thing missing here, and that is the Windows Driver Development Kit. So how exactly do you get it and start programming drivers for yourself? Well, it's rather simple, but it's not exactly shown in the most obvious of places. If you Google for it, you probably found the link for it. However, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing here, and we're gonna be going through this. So of course, assuming that you have Visual Studio 2019 installed, we need to head across to this download link over here. Download Windows Driver Kit for Windows 10 1903. I'll go ahead and open that in a new tab. Now, of course, because I'm not part of an enterprise, I won't be downloading this section down here and additional notes down here. We can probably ignore if using a relatively up-to-date PC, you probably have all of this down here. Either way, it'll download wdksetup.exe We'll open it up, hit run, and we'll get this over here. Next up, you can choose to install it to this default path, or you can choose to install it to a separate place, but I'll leave it as C Program Files Windows Kits 10. Note that you will probably need to visit this directory later on while actually creating drivers. So make sure you remember where it's going to. I'll hit next. I'll hit no, don't want to send anything to Microsoft, except, and we'll be prompted to hit yes for administrator. Once we've done that, it'll start the actual install. Now this will take a little bit of time and it's going to be downloading about a gig and a half of features. It might be about a gigabyte of downloads. I'll be able to tell you just after it's done. Either way, the full install said it would take about 1.9 gigs. So we'll just wait for this to finish. And there we go. Once it's done, we get this over here. I'll make sure to keep install the Windows driver kit Visual Studio extension checked and you probably won't need to learn more checked. However, you can check it if you'd like to see some samples, etc. Then I'll hit close and I'll get a prompt asking for admin. Once you approve it, you'll see a VSIX, the Visual Studio extension installer. We'll make sure our Visual Studio 2019 is checked and I'll hit install. It'll then wait for it to close entirely, and you may have to close some processes manually. Either way, once it's done, we can hit close, and we'll go ahead and open up Visual Studio. Opening up Visual Studio 2019, I'll click Create a New Project, and then we'll get back to this page over here. So I'm back on C++, Windows, Console, and I'll type in Driver. Now you can see a bunch more options. We have the Kernel Mode Driver, USB, KMDF, UMDF V2, the normal install one over here, Inf driver, kernel mode driver, KMDF, empty KMDF, and then a bunch of other options here, which I won't be going through. Either way, once you have all of these here, you can probably hit next and go ahead and define everything that you want for your project, and you've successfully installed it. Note that now if you open up the Visual Studio installer, find your Visual Studio installation, go to more, followed by modify. If we head across to individual components and search for driver, you'll now see uncategorized Windows driver kit. Note that if you uncheck this, it says it's only going to delete three megabytes of space instead of the full 1.9 gigabytes. So if you'd like to uninstall it, you'd have to do it from the control panel. As for how much it actually downloaded while it was installing, looking inside of my monitoring software, it downloaded about 580 megabytes worth of files. So make sure you have that available if you're going to be downloading it on a mobile connection, etc., etc. Either way, this video wasn't a crash course on creating Windows drivers. It was just simply installing it. And in my next video, or probably one of the upcoming videos, I'll probably be going through setting it up on a second test machine or a virtual machine where you can go ahead and test kernel mode drivers. Why? Well, because to debug kernel mode drivers, you need to freeze the entire computer. And if something goes wrong, it'll cause a blue screen. Hence, you can't be debugging and coding on the same PC, you need a separate PC, such as a VM or a second physical computer for that. So if you're interested in that, check the description down below if you're watching this sometime in the future, and there'll probably be a link to that video. Anyways, 
My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot. I wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.